today's video is going to be an Easter treats video. Easter is this weekend, so I wanted to put together a video that had really easy, simple to do last minute treats in case you're having family over, in case you're going to a family member's house or a friend's house, you wanna bring a little something extra cute. If you have kids, all of these would be really fun and easy to do with your kids and I think they'll enjoy them. And yeah, they're just fun, cute stuff for Easter. Such as this little pretzel trick, isn't it cute? I have too much fun making these treats videos. But yeah, I hope you guys like the video and let's get into it. Okay, so first up are these adorable pretzel chicks, and all you're gonna need are normal sized pretzels, some yellow melting candy, which is essentially just white chocolate, and miniature chocolate chips, and then you're also gonna need some orange melting candy for the beak. So, I took the yellow melting candy, melted it down, put it in this plastic bag, and then cut a hole at the bottom so that I could squeeze it out easily. So I just squeeze it into the middle of the pretzel, and then I'm using something with a flat side so I can kind of just smooth it down, really get it into the crevices so that it flattens or hardens flat on both sides. But also while it's still wet, you want to drop in your miniature chocolate chip right there on the side to make his little eyeball. It's so cute. Oh, got a little bit on my finger. But yeah, just continue doing all these. Make sure that they're, you get enough chocolate in there to make them so that they harden flat on both sides so that they're easy to pick up and just continue to put in your chocolate chip eyeballs. After you place all of your chocolate chip eyeballs, you're gonna let these harden for an hour or two, but before you do that, I would suggest using your skewer again to kind of smooth everything out just to make them as flat as possible. But after they harden, they're gonna look flat on both sides. And then I took the orange melting candy, melted it down, and I'm using that same wooden skewer to draw on their little beak right there on the side. These are so cute. You can put them all on a plate or a platter, put them out, and kids and adults are not gonna be able to resist them. I know I couldn't. And up next are these adorable carrot strawberries. So first you're going to need some strawberries, then some orange melting candy, and for decoration you're gonna need some Oreos, I used mini ones, and some cute cupcake liners. So first thing we're gonna do is dip the strawberries into the orange melting candy. The pointier the strawberry, the better. I also recently learned that it's best to let chocolate covered strawberries harden at room temperature. When you put them in the fridge, they kind of get that like juicy, like dew drops at the top and if you let them do it at room temperature that doesn't happen so pick as many strawberries as you want and just let them dry at room temperature and while they dry we're going to work on the decoration so I'm taking these mini Oreos and I'm scooping out the good stuff I know it's upsetting but that's what you have to do we're basically trying to make this look like dirt and of course you're not gonna be able to get all of it off but it just looks a lot obviously darker without the white good stuff in there, but once you get it all out, put them in a bag, and I'm just using a glass to smush it up. And you can use whatever method you want. I tried rolling and pressing. I even got in there with my hands. You just really wanna break it up to make it look like dirt. Once you have your Oreo dirt all mashed up, you're gonna put a little bit at the bottom of each of the cupcake liners, and this is just going to really act as the soil. It really does look like dirt if you look at it close up. It looks like fertilizer. Mmm, yummy. But after that, you're gonna put your hardened strawberry carrots, and they just look like they're growing out of the dirt, and they're so freaking cute, and the cupcake liners make it really easy for people to pick up and enjoy. Next are these Jordan Almond Chicks, which I think are my favorite because they're so colorful, and they're so cute, and also they're the easiest to make. So you're just gonna need some Jordan Almonds, which are pretty accessible this time of year. You're also going to need some orange melting candy for their little beaks, and some black decorating gel for their eyes. So. This is really simple. All you do is you pick up one of the little almond thingies, draw on the two dots for the eyes, and then I kind of did this, obviously, all at a time. I did the black first, and then I went back and did the orange, but these are really, really great to do with your kids. They are a little bit time-consuming, but if you have a lot of people working on them, it'll go by fast, and it's just really fun. So after I do their little black dotted eyes, I took the orange melting candy, put it on a little barbecue skewer thing, and just drew on a beak. And they all looked different. They all had their own little personalities, and they're all so cute. I'm seriously obsessed with these. And if you mess up, like I did on this one, I put this in so you could see, it's really easy to clean up before it dries. You just kind of want to wipe it away. 
um, and it's uh, good as new. So yeah, just keep doing this to a bunch of them, however many you want. I obviously couldn't stop because I think they're the cutest things in the entire world. And when you're done, you're going to have an amazing bowl full of these. And like, how do you not go straight to these at a party? Like, tell me that. They're so cute to put in a cute little dish. They're so colorful, so Eastery, and I totally love them. And then last but not least, I am making these egg-shaped Rice Krispie treats, and I just followed the instructions on the back of this box. You need a box of Rice Krispies, some miniature marshmallows, or you could use the Jet Puff stuff, I think, and three tablespoons of butter. And for decorating, you're gonna need some white chocolate. Use a bar instead of chips, because it melts much easier. Some sprinkles, I found these Easter colored sprinkles on sale. And then I also found this egg-shaped cookie cutter, but if not, you can just trace out the shape of an egg with a knife. So after you make your Rice Krispies, you're just gonna wanna cut out some egg shapes. And like I said, if you can't find an egg-shaped cookie cutter, literally just eyeball it with a knife. It's pretty easy to do. And if you do use a cookie cutter, I greased this thing up pretty good because obviously these treats are really, really sticky. Sticky. But um, I was able to get I think about seven or eight out of this whole big chunk So I just went along and made as many little egg shapes as I could and to get it out easier I kind of just pulled apart at the edges and made as many as I could Then you're gonna want to melt your white chocolate and I just chose the like the fatter end of the egg to dip into it And I tried to get it even on both sides and then before the chocolate hardens, you want to sprinkle your Easter colored sprinkles or whatever sprinkles you're using right onto the um, white chocolate so it sets with the chocolate and sticks to it. And you can do whatever you want with these. I had different colors. I had multicolored thick ones. I had little bunny sprinkles. You can really do whatever you want with these. Rice Krispie Treats are always a hit and I just think these make it more festive and colorful and fun and they're super easy and who wasn't going to want one of these? Hello, they're delish. Okay guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed my Easter treats video. If you make any of these treats, please post them on Instagram, tag me in them, tweet me at them, tweet them at me. <laughs> my handle is at Amy Lynn Butchen, and yeah, I love you guys. I hope you have a really nice Easter. I'll talk to you soon, and yeah, love you. Bye.